there were many people from the North State in Boston for the marathon. It seemed that if you were on Facebook today, there was seems everywhere you turned, there was someone who knew someone there. KRCR News Channel 7's Chelsea Kay spoke with some of those people who were there. She joins us live with what they told her. Chelsea. That's right, Jennifer. And no matter a runner or spectator, these folks told me there was a mad state of confusion and chaos. I've never seen anything like that before, ever in my life. Amy Spencer took the trip from Reading with her dad and 71-year-old mom who was running in the race. Spencer said she was sitting in a bar right at the finish line. All of a sudden there's a noise, like a boom, and the windows rattled, and everybody stopped and looked around. She said immediately there was chaos. Everybody in the bar got up and started running away from the windows. And they were throwing bar stools out of their way and screaming at the top of their lungs. And people on the outside were trying to come in the door like crazy to try to get in and get away from the bomb. And smoke was filling the air. All Spencer could think about was tracking down her mom. But all the chaos and crowded streets made that extremely difficult. Just running in every direction crying. A lot of people didn't know what had happened. After walking miles, Spencer finally spotted her. When I found my mom, I actually fell down onto my knees crying. I also spoke with Royal Cortain, who actually works in our Chico sales department. He was watching and waiting for his wife who was racing. My wife crossed the finish line and about 45 seconds later, the first explosion hit right at the finish line. Right away, he says he panicked and started searching for her. I ran towards the explosion because I knew my wife was at that area. 30 minutes later, he got some relief. My wife was able to uh, get to the phone and send me a text that she was okay. Cortain said he's never experienced anything like this. It's hard to explain. It was just crazy. Both told me they were overwhelmed, but did feel so lucky to have their families together and uninjured. We will have more details on the bombing coming up in a special hour-long edition of ABC World News. Our 6.30 show won't air, but we'll hear from more North State folks who were there in Boston for the marathon tonight at 10 and 11. Chelsea Kay, KRCR News Channel 7. Thank you, Chelsea. I had lunch with Royal last week. He was so proud of his wife and so excited to be able to go to Boston this week.